Hi, welcome to this video. I've had a video request from a channel member called Lovely Tuba, and they want to know is it possible to read the index.dat file? They said they use their program that they've paid for, and they want to know is it possible to read it with a freeware program? Well, there is a few freeware ones out there, and the one I've uh, used before is called Super Winspy. You can get it from acesoft.net. And if you come down here, you can see the freeware version. It's less than a megabyte in size. And it's basically working with Windows Vista XP 2000, Windows 95, whoever's using that, I do not know. Windows 98 ME and NT. I just imagine it will come out for Windows 7 sooner or later. But um, you can either download it here or, or Softpedia. Um, but there has been a few issues once I downloaded it. I did get a little bit of a from antivirus so I've uploaded the file itself this is the uh, warning I'm getting this here now I don't know whether it's a false positive but um, I've uploaded the file which I'm going to do now to show you it's installed on my system so if it's got a virus I'll have to get rid of it but I don't think it is I think it's possible that it's um, a false positive but there we go I'm going to scan the file now send it up there now this scans for virtually every known antivirus software out there and it come back clean apart from one that's and it was a uh, PC tools it said it was a uh, I don't know whatever look in a sec but this is the one that um, I looked at one out of 40 so it's up to you when you want to take the risk with it um, it may be a false positive as I said but let's have a look it's this one here application it so I mean it doesn't really say much really um, I think maybe because you're reading the, the uh, index.dat files and stuff like that it might be seen as suspicious you know but I don't really know I'll have to look into it a little bit more before I put me uh, the all clear on it but I think uh, if that, that's good enough I suppose really if if, if it's uh, just a false positive because all these are fl this is amazing now this is coming up clean uh, coming up with a thing and they're saying it's clean here so I don't know how that's happening anyway enough of that I'll show you the program anyway you can choose whether you want to use it or not this is the actual program here and as you can see it does actual uh, the URL history you can actually look at so if you have a look at the URL history of that machine uh, you can look at that as much as you like. There's no porn sites on there. <laughs> but hey, you know, um, you need to have a look at the address bar there and you can see a few um, few bits and pieces there. And also, um, we can look at the cookies. This is the cookies. And also, uh, recent history, places where you've been and done. You can have a look at that. And also, we've got the search history, what you've searched for there, as you can see. And also you've got the run history uh opened and saved that sort of that sort of thing going on what you've opened and saved it's a great way to keep an eye on your kids and stuff as well if you want to use it for that to make sure they're not doing anything dodgy you know and also we've got the index dot that which is what you was on about so if we actually uh browse to that file there and click OK, this will actually do a scan on that index dot that file and that will give us a full blow for blow what what's in there now um, let me just try and show you what I can't stop it it won't let me stop it so I'm gonna have to let that finish but as you can see it shows you everything that's going on okay you'll see forums and stuff in there okay if you want to root through yours and have a little go through there now you can clean these you can scrub these with uh, cleaners and programs I'll probably show you that in the next video show you how to clean all that out so you can't read anything in here if you want to know how to do that someone has actually asked a question on the forum how to do that sort of cleaning without formatting so I'll show you in a couple of programs it's nothing much but it's pretty basic really to be honest but I'll do a video on it anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you uh, enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you've got any questions like this guy or this woman, then post a comment or ask me a question, and I'll do my best to make that video for you if you've got a request there for me. So thanks again for all your support, guys. Keep on watching. Thanks very much. Bye for now.